Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just got back from the pool and I'm about to make lunch for myself and so I figured I would just quickly film a what's in my fridge video for you guys. You're always asking me what simple meals do I make for myself on a daily basis and what things do I always have in my fridge. So I figured I would share that with you guys and also share some organization tips on how I keep my fridge organized to make my meal prep really easy and make it super simple just to make quick healthy meals. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing what I keep in my fridge and how I keep my fridge organized, then keep watching. So I like to keep my fridge really organized just because it makes being healthy easier just because if it's like prepped in the fridge and I have stuff that's like I can just grab and throw together like a salad or like a cauliflower rice bowl or something like that, it makes it way easier for me to make like a quick meal. And so I always like keeping my fridge organized for that reason. So I keep stuff pretty much in its own little like compartment so everything's nice and organized. So I have some water bottles and green juices and then these buy coconut flavor drinks. So I usually don't really like to drink out of plastic water bottles, but I like to keep some in the fridge just for emergencies if we're like running out the door and I need a water and Dane really likes taking them to work. So I keep those in there for him, but typically I just drink filtered water that I buy in big, um, the big jugs that I refill. But if I'm in a rush then I use these. And then I usually make myself a green juice every morning and so I don't need these. I have them fresh when I make them, but I like to have these just in case if I'm in a rush and I wanna get my greens in still, and then I can just grab one of these and go. And then I usually have these buys in the fridge. I don't drink them like on a regular basis, but they're really yummy. So if I need like a flavor changer and I just want something like fresh and sweet, then I keep those in there for that. But I usually try not to drink like processed drinks, but these ones are naturally sweetened and they don't have any sugar. So I like that about them. And then I always keep coconut milk in the fridge because I'm always making smoothies and those vegan chocolate milkshakes, which are so good. So I keep that in the fridge. A lot of times I make my own fresh, which is what these our four back here, I usually keep these full of fresh homemade coconut milk, but if I find this stuff on sale or like if I just want convenience, then sometimes I'll just buy that. And then usually I also have freshly squeezed lemon juice that I'll put in my water, but if I'm trying to make like a lemonade slushy bowl or if I just want some like lemon juice really quick in my water and I don't want to squeeze them, then I get these. They're like 100% organic and they're from Italy and they're freshly squeezed and so they're at their peak freshness, which I love that. So I always have that in my fridge. And then down here is my gluten-free bread. I usually don't have a lot of bread just because I try to eat like more of a low carb diet, but Dane really likes these. He likes to have sandwiches on them. He'll make like almond butter and honey sandwiches and then um, like avocado toast and stuff they're really good for. So I keep these. This one is vegan, so it's plant-based and egg-free and it's really good. And then this one's really good also. This one is not vegan, but it's really, really yummy. And then I usually just keep some snacks in the fridge. Dane really likes Perfect Bars. I don't really eat these too much just because they have quite a bit of sugar in them, but at least it's natural sugar and he really likes them before the gym, so we keep those in there for him. And then I also always have an aloe leaf. So I like to scrape the gel out of this and put it into my smoothies. It's really, really soothing for your gut and helps heal like the lining of your gut if you have any digestive issues. So I always try to keep that in there. And then it also has tons of other good benefits. And if I burn or anything like that, then I'll like put it on my skin, which is really nice too. And even if you don't burn, it's just so nice to put aloe on your skin. It's so good for your skin. So I'll do that also. So I always keep one of these. And luckily now that I'm in Arizona, these are really cheap to buy. So that's exciting. <laughs> and then I keep fruit in the fridge. So there's like cold, juicy fruit ready to eat all the time. So I usually have like oranges and then grapefruits and apples and lemons. And I keep all of those in this container just so it's nice and organized. And I'm pretty stocked up right now because our friends have a lemon tree and an orange tree and a grapefruit tree and we went and stocked up on a bunch of them and so that's why I have so much fruit in my fridge right now. 
So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of these containers, but they help keep your produce good longer. Uh, just because they have like a little air filtration system in them and I kind of was hesitant at first because I didn't want to spend the money on it But I did and I'm so happy that I did it's one of my favorite purchases I've ever made it keeps my lettuce Lasts way longer and it also helps keep like I, I usually have like cauliflower and broccoli and Brussels sprouts and stuff like that in my fridge and it helps those last way longer so they were like one of my favorite purchases so right now I have Brussels sprouts in this one and I'll show you guys, so it just has this little filtration system right there. And then it just keeps my produce really good and nice and fresh. So I pretty much have Brussels sprouts in my fridge 24 seven. I used to not like them that much, but I started roasting them and putting them on my salads. And then also I like to steam them. They're really good steamed. And then I put them in cauliflower rice bowls and they're just so yummy and super nutritious. So I love keeping those. And then I also have this container full of cauliflower. So I use cauliflower for a lot of stuff. I make cauliflower rice bowls. And then I also make um, cauliflower pizza crust. And then I like mashed cauliflower. I got it to the point where my cauliflower mashed potatoes taste so much like regular mashed potatoes. So at Christmas time, I made dinner for my family and I served the cauliflower mashed potatoes and I told everybody that it was just potatoes and nobody could tell the difference, which is really funny. So there, if you guys are curious how I make those, just let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on how I make those. So then I also just keep lettuce in the bottom ones. Um, usually I'll keep like my greens in one and then my lettuce in the other one. So I have one that's ready for salad all the time and then one that is ready to put um, greens in the juicer. And then in one of them, I'll always keep some lettuce intact um, because I like to have a lot of like lettuce wraps. So I just keep those in there. So if I want to make lettuce wraps and those are good to go, but the rest of it is all cut up and ready. So I can just throw it in my salad and it's super easy. And then in the bottom drawer, I always keep um, zucchini and cucumber. I pretty much have zucchini and cucumber 24 seven. I love to roast these yellow squash. I just like cut them into chunks and roast them in the oven. They're super good like that. And then I use the um, zucchini. I always keep organic zucchini for zucchini noodles because I eat those all the time. Sometimes I'll have them raw in salad with like an almond butter lime dressing. And then um, sometimes I'll steam them and then I'll put like a marinara on them and make like an Italian style dish. And then I always keep cucumbers. I put cucumber juice in my juices every single day. And I also usually chop them up and put them on my salad. And I like just eating them. So I usually keep those on deck 24 seven. And then I also just recently got into eggplant. I used to think these were like the nastiest looking things ever. And I never wanted to cook with them just cause they look like a big, Bean. They just kind of grossed me out for some reason, but I made an eggplant parmesan the other day Which was like chicken parmesan, but a vegan version of it and it was so good. My family loved it So I had my mom and my sister down and so I made it for them and they were like obsessed with it Which is pretty fun and then in this drawer I keep all my avocados I basically live off of avocados just because they're so high in fiber and healthy fats and they're just so delicious to me. So I pretty much put an avocado on everything that I make. Um, and then also I usually keep peppers in here cause I like to put peppers in my salad and then also in my cauliflower rice bowls. And then I have a fresh coconut um, and that's what I use to make my coconut milk. So I just crack it open and blend that in the blender and strain it. And then that's how I make my fresh coconut milk. And sometimes I just like to eat it all. So I love coconut. So, oh, and then I skipped over I usually always have asparagus as well. And I have this container that keeps it fresh longer also. It was like the perfect size for asparagus. I love roasted asparagus. And then I got these tall containers for my greens and my celery. So I really like celery. I like to like just eat it as a snack. I'll put like almond butter on it or just eat it plain. And then I also put it in my juices. And so um, I like to have it just ready. So I actually have the bottom of this already cut and so I already washed these and they're already all cut so I can just like pop the top open and um, eat it or put it in my juice or either or and it's nice because it's just like ready it's super convenient and makes it way more likely for me to put celery and stuff 
and celery juice is super good for digestion and helping to like produce your own stomach acid and so I like to do that first thing in the morning because it just seems to really help with my digestion and then I also keep my greens in here so um, right now I just have spinach in here but usually I would have like cilantro or parsley or like my herbs I keep in here and it keeps them fresh way longer because I put a little bit of water in the bottom of this also and it just keeps it so nice. Oh, and I was gonna say with the celery, the um, celery stays so much crispier. It's like amazing. Like it's just like so crunchy. It's insane. It never gets soggy. So if you guys get like soggy celery, put it in a little bit of water at the bottom and it'll keep it so crispy. So the bottom shelf is just stuff that I don't use that often. So this relish is just like sugar-free relish. And then I have some mustard, which I used to not like mustard that much, but for some reason I'm really digging it right now. I like to put it in my salad dressings. So I keep this organic mustard and then I have some Dijon mustard that I use for salad dressings as well. And then I have some avocado mayo. And this marinara sauce is so good. If I just like need something quick, uh, all I do is just spiralize some zucchini and throw some marinara on it and it's like, so good it's like one of my favorite things ever and i also put that on my cauliflower pizza and there's something else i think i put it on it's good if you make like um like eggplant fries like the breaded ones or like zucchini fries it's super good marinara to dip in that but i just like to keep that on deck because if i have that and i need a quick meal to make then i can just whip something up really quick so i love that stuff and then so this section is just my fermented foods. I like to incorporate a lot of fermented foods in my diet just because it really helps with my digestion and helps with my gut. So I love this um, brand of the organic sauerkraut. A lot of times I'll make my own fermented foods, but since we just moved here, I haven't had time to do it yet. So I bought this stuff from Costco. It was like seven or eight dollars for like the smallest container I've ever seen at Whole Foods. And then I went to Costco and it was eight dollars for this huge container. So I was pretty excited. I've already gone through a whole one. This is my second one. So I really like this stuff. I eat it with every single meal just to help with digestion. And then also, I love pickles and so this brand of pickles is like super clean and really really good and so yeah I love this brand and then also I have this coconut yogurt which I always like to keep some sort of yogurt in my fridge because I love yogurt but this one has like so many probiotics it's amazing it has 25 billion CFUs um, per half a cup and this stuff is sour like I can tell that it's good quality because it's real sour and then I also just have some fermented turmeric that I like to put about a teaspoon in my green juices every day. And this is amazing for inflammation and it just has lots of phytonutrients. So I really like to incorporate this into my daily routine. And then I usually just keep some pastured eggs up here. I only buy pastured eggs. I don't buy cage free. I don't buy free range. Um, they're just not as good quality and pasture eggs are the best and Vital Farms is my favorite brand. They're like really, really good quality eggs and the chickens are outside all day and they are they have so much more like omega-3s in them and vitamin D and vitamin E, they're like loaded with it. So I really, really like these eggs. And then I also have these little matching containers to the big ones that I had inside. And these are little ones so they help keep your produce good longer and these ones I just keep berries in so it just helps keep my berries fresh longer so I have some blueberries and then some blackberries right now I usually have some raspberries in here but they are super expensive for organic ones right now but um, the blueberries the organic blueberries and the organic blackberries were on sale so I picked up some of those and I only buy organic berries there's certain things that I don't necessarily um, buy organic every time if it's too expensive but for berries, 100% I recommend getting organic berries all the time. So for this shelf, it's usually where I keep my nut butters. I have a little bit of um, almond milk yogurt right now, this Kate Hill brand, um, but I don't always have this, but sometimes I do. Um, but I always have peanut butter. I feel like I try not to eat a ton of peanut butter, but I love it. So this brand is like the most delicious brand I've ever tried. And then I just have some um, almond butter from Costco and then some organic tahini which I make dressing out of almost every single day. I pretty much use tahini for everything so I always keep that and then right now I just have a little bit of this um, 
sugar-free maple syrup. So if you're on like a low carb diet or you're trying to do like no sugar, then that's a good option. It tastes so, so yummy and it's all naturally sweetened, which is really good. And then this shelf, I just keep my supplements. So this Udo's oil is like my, um, for my omega fatty acids. And I try to put that on my salad every day or on top of like steamed vegetables or um, I at least try to get it in something every day. And then this is my hemp protein, so it's just plant protein. And it has 16 grams of protein for like one teaspoon is all, and so it's really, really good. And it was a good price too. And then I have some organic flax seeds, which I like to make um, like flax bread or flax wraps. And that's what I use a lot of times instead of toast. If I make like avocado toast, I put the, um, all I do is just mix like three tablespoons of flax seed and then two tablespoons of water and just put a little salt in it and then I put it on a pan and just cook it on both sides and then I put avocado and an egg on it and it's avocado toast. So I don't usually keep a lot of frozen stuff so my freezer is pretty empty but I'll show you guys in here anyway. So I usually just keep some frozen bananas. I just keep a big container of frozen bananas. I don't eat a lot of bananas because I um, stick to a pretty low carb diet but I'll put um, like frozen bananas in Dane's smoothie so I usually keep those for him. And then I also just have some frozen cauliflower rice, organic frozen cauliflower rice, and then some organic baby Brussels sprouts. And I usually keep these fresh also but I like them so much just in case I run out of fresh and I don't have time to go get um, new stuff yet, then I just keep the, these just for convenience. And then on the bottom, I usually keep some sort of treat. So right now I'm obsessed with these um, like dipped vanilla ice cream bars. They're coconut, made out of coconut milk and they're dairy free. And these ones are sugar free. So I'm like obsessed with ice cream and I kind of had a hard time finding um, like options for me when it comes to ice cream because there's a lot of dairy free options now but I also follow a basically sugar free diet and so it was hard to find I could find sugar free that had dairy and then I could find dairy free that had sugar so I was like I couldn't find any that worked for me but the brand so delicious that um, those ice cream bars that brand they um, just came out with like four flavors of sugar free dairy free ice cream so it's made out of coconut milk they have like a butter pecan and chocolate and mint chocolate chip and then vanilla and they're all so good if you guys see them they're the ones that are this like teal color so the little like pints of ice cream will be this teal color so if you see them definitely give them a try because they're really really good and you can feel totally guilt-free eating them and these specifically are so yummy i just discovered them like a week or two ago with my sister and my mom and i'm pretty sure we went through like eight boxes so <laughs> Probably shouldn't eat that many, but it was a vacation, so we we're just trying to have fun. And then um, I also have these cashews. So a lot of recipes that I find call for soaked cashews, and a lot of times I just want the recipe now, and I don't want to wait like hours for the nuts to soak. And so I actually just soaked a bunch of cashews and then freeze them. So when I need like a soaked cashew for a recipe, then I have them all done. So that's it for my fridge tour and what I keep stocked in my fridge pretty much 24 seven. I've changed my diet a lot in the last year or so and it's made it so much easier for me to stick to my healthy diet if I keep the foods that I enjoy that are healthy stocked in my fridge and easy to get to, easy to whip up and I just love that about my food life now. My food life is so much easier so I definitely recommend that you guys find the meals that you enjoy and keep those ingredients stocked in your fridge. I also have a lot of stuff in my pantry that I eat on a regular basis so if you guys are interested in seeing a what's in my pantry video then definitely comment below and let me know and yeah I wish you guys all the best on your health and fitness journey and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.